So guys, welcome right on back to Pokemon Neon Glow making with RPG Maker. So guys, just before we go and get started today, I am going to, well, today, well, whatever day you're watching, it doesn't have to be today, it could be tomorrow, but actually no, it's always technically today, just disregard whatever I just said, it made no sense. But this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to change the sprites and stuff in the intro of the game. It's actually going to be pretty cool, I think, and it's something that is pretty useful. So, the intro by default is fairly similar to, I think it's Pokemon Fire Red version. It's that intro, it has Oak, and he talks to you, and you stuff. I showed how to edit the words in it, but today I'm going to show you how to edit the sprites. So, I've already edited the ma male character sprite. And it's actually pretty easy to edit the sprites. All you need to do is get the file, draw on them, and then export them here. And if you keep the name the same, when the picture, when it tries, sorry, I don't know what just happened. But anyways, when it tries to load the picture, it will load the new picture because it has the same name. And the coding will tell it to find whatever picture has that name and put it up there. So I'm going to be showing you how to edit or change the sprite for the Pokemon that shows up near the beginning in the intro. There's like a little Pokemon that appears and it says Pokemon live in this world. And I'm also going to show you how to change the sprite for the professor. So I don't know. For the professor I'm going to speed draw it I think. So the camera will like speed up to like three or four times speed. Maybe a lot faster. I have no idea. And for the other one, I'm just going to pick one of the sprites that I already have and switch them around. So that one will be really fast. In fact, I think we'll do that first. But before we do anything, I just wanted to show you one simple thing. So if you can see this hotbar here where my mouse is, if you wanted to know how to change the name of the game, all you need to do is click Change Title. And there you go. It's called Pokemon Neon Glow for me. You can change it to whatever you want. That will just show up at the top of the play box. It's nice, it's simple, it's easy. I'm done now. See you in a second when I am altering the sprites. Alright, bye. So, first things first. Here is the intro sprite for the male character. I haven't done the female character yet because I'm going to do all his animations like running, walking, biking, all that stuff. And all I have done so far is running and walking. It's tedious. It will take a while. I as well work on one first and then move to the female sprite. So, yeah. But anyways, as you can see, I changed his hat, changed his skin color, shirt. Everything about him is pretty different. It's um well, it's not different, it's just different in color. It's like a skin on top, but the hat is a different design. It's usually a ball cap with only half a Pokeball on it. And his arm is now bent in like, I don't know, some sort of half fist pumpy position. It doesn't look like one hundred percent, as you can see it looks a little weird, but I'm probably gonna keep it like that because when it's this small, you can't really tell. And if I do get around to adding it, maybe I will. Who knows? So anyways guys, um to edit the sprites, you want to get the sprites you need in a little folder here. Make sure to have backups of them. So this is actually a backup folder, and then I just convert them into the game folder later. So here's pretty much all the character sprites. You can see what I need to change, but I have like the running version of the male character and the walking version of the male character right there. Which is actually, it's very simple. You can change, like, the Pokeball throwing thing from Stereo Baggle. You can change that. You can change his face on the map. You pretty much need to change a lot. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to change the Meryl, which is a Pokemon that comes up at the beginning. Not Pika Blue Meryl. As you all know, it's not Pika Blue. But, yeah, that will be the Pokemon that will come up at the front. And I am just going to change that sprite right now and switch it to one of these three. So the three I have are Platypoy, Jabbit, and Snuggybug. So I think I am going to use Jabbit because it is the most colorful one. I think it looks really good. And my second choice would probably be this guy, but unfortunately there's just so much white on him. In fact, when I record it's almost impossible to see you got the snowball. 
has a snowball in his hand, right where my mouse is and stuff, but it's really hard to see because the lighting is different when I do it, like when I record. And you just can't tell. And it will probably blend right in with the background. So we're going to use Javit because it's nice, easy, simple, and colorful. And it's a great Pokemon to start off with. So all we need to do is open him up with paint and copy him and paste him with the mural file and replace him. And I'll do that really quickly. So off screen or whatever. So anyways, guys, as you can see, um, I don't know. So anyways, guys, as you can see, sorry. It, like, cut off the beginning. I didn't know if you could hear me. That's what I was about to say. But as you can see, I, um, have ch chosen to do Peck... Peck... <laughs> I think it's Peck Drillo. It might be Peck Lil or Peck Killo. Those are the three names of the evolution instead of Javit. And that is because Javit is a really small sprite. So it would look weird in the intro because this one is 75 by 80 pixels is what Meryl is and that's what it wants the picture to be around so it will just be like a really tiny picture on a platform made for something this big this one is 75 by 83 so it's just a wiggle off the top and it won't even get rid of it it will it will work it out but so this is about as close as it can possibly get, and it's a good looking Pokemon, and it's definitely not bad for the intro. So we're going to use end sked. So what we're going to do here is we're going to get rid of Meryl by deleting her, and just move him here. Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. And I know you won't be able to see this very well, but I just need to push him into the corner a bit. And resize them here and now it I will click here and save it and it's now saved as intro Meryl and now we just need to put that in the folder and it should be in the game so yeah so actually guys I kind of lied there's one step in between that you need to use the pro a program called GIMP or there's a few other programs that work but I prefer GIMP and all you need to do is use a magic wand tool um, it looks like a magic wand, it's right there on site, select it, I just dragged it over. And when you click that, you can click the background, press delete, and it makes it transparent, and this is just so there won't be a white block around it when it's in the game, because that would look weird. And then all you need to do is click file, and you click export, which comes up on the file menu. I know you can't see it, I'm sorry, you click export as actually. You simply just name it Intro Meryl, like it says at the top as always. Well, as always, it will say at Intro Meryl at the top. You go to Desktop, which is where I'm keeping my files, and I go to Pokemon Neon Glow, and I go to Graphics, and I believe it's under Characters. No, it's not. So I go to Graphics, I just click back to Graphics, and I go Pictures. And. Now we look at there's something called Intro Meryl here, just it's alphabetical, so it's not too hard to find. And yes, there is. So you click export, which is at the bottom, right off screen, you can't see it. And it says that this file already exists, and you click replace. And now, once you click export, that is the only intro Meryl file in the entire game. So what it's going to do is, in the intro, it's going to find a file called Intro Meryl, and that's what it's going to pull up. It's going to pull up this picture in the intro as a Pokemon. It's pretty cool. And now I'll just speed do Professor Oak and put him in, too. So, yeah. And if you didn't see the last episode, his name in my game is Professor Spruce. But the names do not matter for the intros. They don't show up anywhere. Well... They do, but you can change the dialogue. Like, the names of the pictures don't show up, so it doesn't matter what it says. And sorry about the weird offset camera. I don't know what's happening. I'll fix it. Don't worry.
So now, if you go under graphics in the file for Pokemon Central, you can see this. So there's Oak and there's uh, um, well, Meryl, I guess. I don't know, that's silly, but if I change it, it won't work. And there's the boy and the girl skated the same for now. I'll change her later. So Oak, as you can tell, he didn't change too much. I gave him a beard. I changed his pants. I changed his shirt. Kind of changed his arm a bit. And skin color, hair color, stuff like that. But ultimately, he does not look super different from the original. But I'm okay with that, at least for now. Um, all we need to do next is boot up the game and see how it all turned out. So guys, here we go. This is the game Pokemon Neon Glow, it's called. Um, there are sound effects and stuff, but you probably can't hear them, and that's a good thing, because I might get copyright claims for it, so, the audio is actually on mute right now, for you at least, I don't know, I think you could hear bing bing there, but now it's on mute, so I'm actually going to start a new game so that we can see the intro and all that, and I figured, what well, just, space is locked, but before I, um, do, do anything, I'm just going, while well, I go through this, there, you can see him, he's new, he fits in screen pretty dang well, he looks alright. But, anyways, before I do anything, I was just going to tell you that to last video I said I was making this with RPG Maker and Pokemon Essentials, we're the two packs, that is true, but in case you're wondering if you're going to get RPG Maker, the version compatible with Pokemon Essentials is called Pokemon, R sorry, it's called RPG Maker XP. And it does cost money. It costs about $25 here. I'm in Canada. I don't know if it's the same everywhere else. And you just buy it on their website. I don't know if I'd recommend buying it anywhere else. It's probably like a fake version or some of them could probably give you viruses. So even if they're free, don't necessarily trust them. And let's go up the intro. So welcome to the Palomo region. My name is Spruce. Call me a Pokemon professor. If you need help, he can give you it. So you can check the controls, um, you can check the adventure, which is just a description, or you can click no if I need to continue. So the world is inhabited by creatures we call Pokemon. Yeah, I guess it does look a little bit odd, but you know what, I think pretty much all the sprites are going to be like this, so I think it's okay. I don't know, maybe I should pick a different sprite, who knows, you guys can tell me in the comments what you think. I think it looks okay, it just looks a little small, but think about it, it is a tiny bird, so it's supposed to be like that. People and Pokemon live together by su supporting each other. Some people play with Pokemon, some battle with them. But we don't know everything about Pokemon yet. There's still many mysteries to solve, and the Palomo re region has some especially strange ones. That's why I study Pokemon every day. Be a boy or a girl. So I'm going to go boy. Just so we can see this sprite here. So what did I say my name was? So for some reason, if you just click OK and don't type anything in, it will automatically name you Cobalt. And that's my last name, which is really weird because I did not program that in. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that you need to make an account with RPG Maker to download XP. I have no idea, because I don't think I remember it asking for my last name either way. It's very strange. Maybe that's the default name. I'll see if I can change that, and maybe I'll post a video that mentions how to later. So, am I ready? Hell yeah. Very own Pokemon stories about to unfold. Face ton fun times and tough challenges. Not tough times and fun challenges. Does that way it makes sense? Rogue Dream and Adventures of Pokemon. Let's go. So I'm supposed to crack it the Skarger Pack for this, so I will. I crack it Pokemon Central Skarger Pack for the um, textures, titles, scripts, all that stuff. So anyways, as you might have noticed, I start off the game right here, right beside this bed. And that's actually pretty interesting because usually you'd start right here. And I have just simply changed got one thing because later I'm going to have... Your little brother as an NPC playing computer games on your NES when you wake up. So you can just walk downstairs easily. You saw the window up there, right? If not, just rewind and look at it. There's your mom. I'm not going to talk to her because she'll just give me, bombard me with items and stuff. I can walk outside Grand Town. Look, the Pokeball's actually there. 
Oh, our flowers are stuff are here, and you can walk right through the flowers because you're the bottom layer. But I'm pretty sure that since, sorry, I'm just gonna walk over here. Since the bush is on the second layer, you can't walk through it. Yep, there you go. And I am, and if you check here, you can talk to him. And look, he even says, "Hi, welcome to Granite Town." Player goes outside. Be sure to transfer a player onto the door rather than next to it. Looks better that way. All right, but that's all I've changed so far. I'm not going to go into Professor Oak's laboratory because it will force me to do some stuff. But as you can see, I've also changed the sprite here walking around. And I'm going to quickly transfer to the other file just to show you the running version of the sprite in all directions. Okay, so I lied. For some reason, I actually can't do that because I did alter those pictures since then and now. So, um, pretty much, the, since the files have been changed, that old save file where I can, had the running shoes has been removed, so I'll show you the running on a later date, but I think this episode has gone on long enough, at least for me, so see you guys next time, bye bye And as always, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and until next time, stay awesome. If you want to check out the last part of the video, there should be a link in this, not the last part, but the first video where I showed some of the basics like how to place stuff on the map and how I change dialogue. Go check that out. There should be a link in the description and there's also probably an annotation somewhere on the screen if I wasn't too lazy. But until next time, stay awesome. Bye-bye.